Windows 11's latest update, KB5066835, just dropped. It claims to fix 118 vulnerabilities, including five zero-day bugs, and brings new features like AI-powered right clicks, Chrome printing fixes, and a cleaner dual monitor notification center. But guess what? It's also freezing, crashing, and throwing errors like 0x800F991. Some users say the update even knocks out localhost IIS. Yeah, your div server just took a nap. If your update got stuck or your PC's acting weird, don't panic. Keep watching. Hey guys, welcome back to 4DDIG. Before we dive into the fixes, let's play it safe and make a quick backup. Because trust me, Windows updates sometimes have M personality. You can try 4DD Partition Manager. It lets you clone your entire system or back up your important partitions in just a few clicks. If you don't know how to back up, you can watch my previous video. Now let's talk about how to actually install this update without losing your mind. The lazy but usually effective option is to update from Windows Update. If your system isn't too broken, Windows Update should handle it for you fingers crossed. Click Start, select Settings, then choose Windows Update. Click Check for Updates, and if you see key 5066835, hit Download and Install. All right. If Windows Update refuses to cooperate and displays the 0x800 if 922 error, it's time to go manual. Open your browser and search Microsoft Update Catalog. Enter KB5066835 in the website search box. Find the version that matches your system. You can see it in Settings, System, About, typically 64-bit. Click Download, open the MSU file, and follow the steps. This method is suitable for technology enthusiasts or people who need to update multiple computers offline. Download the .msu file for KB5 million 66,835 from the Microsoft Update Catalog. Same as method 2. Move it to a C folder and rename it, C Update. Click Start, type KMD, and choose Run as Administrator. Then, type this command. Hit Enter and wait. Watch the progress bar run to the end and restart to complete. If you find that important photos and files have disappeared after the update, don't panic. If you have a 4D dig backup, you can simply restore it. If you don't have a backup, you can also try using the 4D dig data recovery tool. It has a recovery mode specifically for data loss caused by Windows update failure with a very high success rate. Just start the software. Select the disk where the files are lost. Click scan selected file types. After the scan is complete, you can preview the found files. Select the ones you want and click Restore, and then specify a safe path to save them. And you can recover the data. Sometimes, installing KB5066835 isn't the end of the story, it's just the beginning of the nightmare. Some updates get stuck, others finish, but leave your PC acting weird. Don't worry, we've got you covered with simple, step-by-step -step fixes. When your update gets stuck or fails to install, try Windows Update Troubleshooter. Press Windows and I. Choose System, scroll down and find Troubleshoot, Other Troubleshooters, click Run on Windows Update, follow the prompts, and Windows will try to repair itself automatically. The error code keeps popping up? Open CMD as an administrator and paste the following commands, and press Enter line by line. Restart your P, then try updating again. If your PC suddenly feels like it's running through molasses, apps keep crashing, or you get random blue screens, it's probably some core system files that got corrupted during the update. Open CMD as administrator. Type SV slash scan out and hit enter. Wait for it to finish. Then paste this command. Once it's done, restart your PC. Can't boot after installing KB5066835? Keep getting blue screens? The computer fails to boot up several times? Restart to safe mode from settings, Recovery, Recovery Option. Then go to Settings. Windows Update, Update History, Uninstall Updates. Find key 5066835, click on Install, and Restart. And if you're lucky enough to have a restore point, System Restore is a lifesaver. Search for Create a Restore Point and open it. Click System Restore, then choose a restore point from before KB5066835 was installed. Follow the prompts and let Windows do its magic. 
Your files will stay safe, but any apps installed after that restore point might disappear. So that's all for today. If you like, remember to like, subscribe and turn on the little bell. See you in the next video.